Talking reviews on the run, we're in the dead heat of summer, and you know what that means? Lots of licensed movie games. Which usually means lots of crap. Today on Reviews on the Run, Ryan and I are taking a look at Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, Spider-Man 3 for the Wii, Call of Juarez, and in Versus, it's Tamagotchi Party on against Mario Party 8. All right, let's get things started here. Ryan Nicholas is back. He's a producer on Reviews on the Run and Electric Playground. He's joining me to review games this week. We're talking about Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, of course, based on the big Warner Brothers movie that's out this summer, gobbling up all kinds of money from muggles like you and me. And uh, this is out now on the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 and the Wii and every other system. Everything. Known to man, everything. We looked at it on the PS3. What did you think of Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix? Well, the first thing I saw about this game was it looks great. I yeah. mean, it really felt, for the first time in a Harry Potter game, you're at Hogwarts. Yeah. You're, you're in that world. And right. you can just, I won't call it Grand Theft Potter, but it's, you're kind of running around and kind of have some more open-ended stuff that Grand you can Theft do. Grand Theft Broomstick? Yes. Yes, yeah, sure. <laughs> Grand Theft Grand Theft Wand. Grand Theft Wand, but yes. you can, you have some, you know, different open-ended gameplay. You can run around and it looks, it does look good, but I just found after a while, I realized that I kind of wasn't really doing anything at all. Well, it's an adventure game. You know, that's what, it's not an action adventure. adventure game. It's an adventure game. It's about discovery, it's about puzzle solving, it's about secret finding, it's about unlocking the videos of the actors all saying how realistic the game is. Did you notice that? Yeah. Every video you get is, oh, I can't believe how realistic it all looks. It's the first, game, looks I've ever, it's the first so game I've ever seen, but it looks really, really, it looks really very realistic. realistic. When do I get paid? And it's all the actors. And they're all a part of the voice yes. cast, which is important, I think, in these licensed games. Although I gotta say, this, uh, this Daniel Radcliffe guy, he really sounds like a petulant little punk in this game. I just wanted to slap him. What have you been doing? I've been doing nothing. You've had all the fun here at the headquarters of the Order. He's yelling at Hermione, and then he's yelling at another kid, and just like, just a nasty little punk. Well, he's Harry Potter. Yeah, I just was surprised that he just wasn't a little bit nicer to everybody in there. Mm -hmm. But that is a nice part of the game, is you do talk to every single person that you see roaming around Hogwarts, which is pretty cool. Maybe he's upset because he's so winded from all the running he had to do from one end of the map to the other end of the map is, for the whole game. There is a lot of running in this game. This, this, game is, is, this is the ultimate walking simulator. They call it Harry Potter <laughs> and the Boston Marathon Training Simulation because all you do is run from one to the other and say, yeah. oh, what's my next adventure? Oh, they're over there. And then you put them the map and they have yeah. the footsteps, which is kind of cool because there is no HUD, yeah. which is nice. I kinda like that too, It's yes. kind of movie-like. There's no, nothing on the screen except yeah. for that, so which is very cinematic that way, but you get the little footprints to tell you where to go yeah. and you run and you run and you run some more. Yes. And yes. I got to say that the action in the game was pretty dry. I mean, yes. you really don't feel like there's a lot going on. And for the first like hour and a half, I was like, is there a nothing. game? Here? Yeah, I, I mean, was waiting what, and waiting. And then when it finally came. Spin the wand and move furniture around and get these little glowy dot things and stuff like that. I mean, I've had more fun with previous Harry Potter games, so I gotta be honest. I can't yeah. remember which one, because there's been about 75 of them now, but they all run into each other. Yeah, yeah. and like an earlier one, I think on the GameCube, I really enjoyed. And this one, I liked, it kind of reminded me of the, the longest journey and some of the, the sort of more classic PC adventure type experiences that I've had out there. Yep. But I, I just wanted to fight somebody. I, I don't know, I wanted to pull a sword out of something and just start hacking at people after, what, maybe the kids. Do you think it's a I game based on a movie and books that you they put all the action in the game because it's interactive. Yeah. But I just felt like I was watching yeah. a lot of the time. You do get into wizard battles, but you know. Did you I, use the six axis control? I did, did a little bit, that? but it's really just to point your wand. It's not Useless. to like to do much. I thought it was funny that the default in the game is for it to be off. Yeah. So that shows how much the, that shows how much the developers uh, thought Telling. of their uh, six yes. axis controls. Yes. Like, it's off, but you know, try it if you want to. <laughs> you know, it, good luck with that. It's kind of like <laughs> an interactive postcard for Harry Potter fans, isn't mm -hmm. it? Wish you were here. Actually, you can feel like you're there. Walk around. I'm not crazy about it. Five out of 10. Yeah, I'm gonna give it a five and a half. On the positive side, this is the first time that Hogwarts has been created in all its glory, and it looks great. Fans of the Harry Potter series are gonna love roaming around in that world, and all the real actors lent their real voices and likenesses to the game. On the negative side, the action feels a little bit dry and boring in this one. You spend most of your time just walking around from objective to objective, and although it's a nice reward to get all the actors in the movie clips, I wish they weren't always just saying how realistic the game looked. 